and OQ News on Oculus Quest, August 12th through the 18th. Ultimax launches for free on September 15th for Quest, PC VR, and Pico. This is awesome to see that it's going to be free to play and that it's coming out so soon. And on all these mainstream platforms. Cannot wait to play this game. Really hyped for it. I'm also very curious to see how it'll compete with Knock, which was one of my favorite VR games of the year. Logitech Chorus has just been announced, which are $100 Index-like speakers for Quest 2. Now famously, the Index has some of the best audio of a VR headset to date, and these aim to bring that level of audio fidelity to the Quest 2, which is great to see. Mother Gunship Forge just got a new update called the Cozy Update. It added a lot of new stuff, it added new enemies, new gun parts, and a brand new level. This is great to see, I haven't played Mother Gunship Forge, but that game looks awesome, and it's great to see VR games get constantly updated like this. Speaking of updates, Puzzling Places, one of the highest rated games on the Quest platform, added a blue temple in its free update on Quest and PSVR. This looks really cool, it's a brand new puzzle based around Thailand's eye-catching Buddhist temple. Cannot wait to check this out. Walkabout Mini Golf teased some of their future courses coming out later this year, and spoiler, they sound amazing. They're inspired by Jules Verne classic novels such as 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea or Journey to the Center of the Earth, and this is so cool. I love seeing licensed content like this, just like Labyrinth that came out just a short while ago. Of course, the Mist course is also coming out pretty soon. That'll be fun, too. And they also showed, like, a little teaser of what the Mist course looks like. Looks pretty fun. Cannot wait to see some of the other holes. The creator of Breaking Bad, Vince Gillian, confirmed a Breaking Bad VR experience was almost released on the PSVR, but it turns out there was complications with development. He wanted something akin to Grand Theft Auto, but wasn't totally aware of the work that was required to make a video game of that caliber. And so... After a while, all these Breaking Bad video games just kind of fell through. That's sad to see because especially since a VR game with that based off that show would be so popular and if done right, it would be really amazing. Townscaper VR arrives this October on MetaQuest and Pico platforms. This is unlike Little Cities or Cities VR, which came out previously this year. It's very different in terms of its gameplay. It's a lot looser of a cities building game, I believe. This came out on flat screen a little while ago and it got pretty good reviews. I still have to check out some gameplay on the flat screen release to really see how they're going to translate this to VR. I'm still unsure on what this game's really going to be. The updated list of the highest rated Oculus Quest 2 games and apps have now been released. And at number one, of course, we have Puzzling Places at a 4.9. Number two, The Room VR Dark Matter at a 4.89. Number three, Walkabout Mini Golf at 4.87. Number four, I Expect You to Die 2 at a 4.86. And number five, we have Moss a Book 2, which just came out pretty recently, at a 4.84. This top five list is all 4.8s and above. There's only three. No, there's actually only four 4.9s on the Quest platform, which is very interesting to see. Now, those, all those top four 4.9 games, though, are some of the best games on the platform, hands down. For the review of the week, we have Space Folk City, which is such a fun city-building game. It may not quite reach the heights of Little Cities from Cities VR, but it is an awesome take on the city-building genre inside VR and it really utilizes the platform perfectly, especially on the Quest 2. Highly recommend. In terms of the Quest 2 releases of the week, first off, we have Altair Breaker, sitting at a 4.7 with 77 reviews right now. This is an anime-inspired sword fighting game, which looks pretty good. It's not necessarily my kind of game, but early reviews are very positive. I've seen some people really praise this game, so if you're interested in how it looks, like the gameplay you're seeing right now, then make sure to check it out. And of course, the big release of the week was Red Matter 2, which is currently at a 4.8 based off 107 reviews. That is great to see. It seems like critics and the audience love this game. Supposedly supposed to revolutionize graphics on the Quest 2, with many calling it the best visually looking game on the platform by far. Picks up right after Red Matter 1 left off, so you probably want to play that one first, which that game still looks great and it's still a blast to play, but this seems like a much better game for 30 bucks. Cannot wait to try it out just in a little bit. 